Sagittarius, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you a reading. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, pick a node. Doesn't matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch, okay? I'm telling you now, please don't curse me in the comments. I love you too, all right? Sagittarius, if you found the message or the message found you, it's because there's something in here for you or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. There's no gender or age here, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, happen, pay it, no mind. Feel the energy. And remember, roles can always be reversed. Sagittarius, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, and donations. Thank you so very much for your support. Let's talk about your energy. Um, I, I definitely feel like you've kind of uh, gone within, separated from the world. I don't even know when this message will find you. I think you've um, unplugging from social media, things like that. I know we talked about that, either your last reading or the reading before. Um, and I'm proud of you. I want you to know that, okay? So uh, for whoever, uh, even if it's your cross watchers watching, you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, all right. But definitely going within, doing the work, doing the, I think you've done the, the physical work, like as far as the house and you, you've definitely done a lot of cleaning, a lot of purging, throwing away and stuff like that, organizing. So now it's, I think it's just more inner work, spiritual work, um, getting in tune with yourself, you know, meditating, praying, um, exercising. Um, I think you're just just enjoying silence even sometimes, you know, no TV or anything. Um, I love it. I have to say, I love it. I think it's, um, I think it's absolutely wonderful. I think it's wonderful and congratulations. All right, Sagittarius, please. We're pulling from the Psychic Tarot Oracle for you. Movements, choices, and decisions, see? You got things going on. You got things to think about. Um, you're considering your future, you know, like beyond, like not your immediate future, but beyond that, you know, who's going to wipe my ass? You know, you're thinking about real things. Okay. If something happens to me, who's going to wipe my ass? Period. Um, who's going to pay the mortgage? You know, uh, what's the plan? You're thinking of things like that. Okay. Uh, real things. You're, you're leaving the petty foolishness to everybody else. Solitude at the bottom of the deck. I think this period is going to be a while and um, enjoy it. It's not a punishment. You know, it's a process. Okay. It will bring you peace. It will bring you wisdom. It will bring you clarity. It will bring you some healing. So take this solitude that's coming in for you and really think about your life. You know, look at your options. Um, and whatever you decide, hey, you know, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you, Sag. I'm with you, babe, all the way, okay? Yeah, after that, you have balance coming in, uh, justice energy. You get recognition and reward. So you definitely get a reward for the work that you put in because those nostalgic moments that you have about your past, um, should be allowed to flow through you as opposed to uh, constrict your movements or put you in fear or put you in defense or even put you in la la land because it's so good you know that you can't even face the reality of whatever whatever you were feeling those nostalgic moments they should put you in balance not it should flow through you not um, affect your movements, you know, you learn from the past so that you don't make the same mistakes, you know, that that's the whole point of that. But it's part of your story, whether you've been wanting to accept it or not. I'll say it like that, okay? Um, accelerated motion coming in, so things will start speeding up once you get through this process, but that's further down the line. Uh, let's get to your spread. 
We're using a nefertiri today for your spread. Because I think that you guys are gonna be getting some visits from your angels, your ancestors. Yep, to help you. They're gonna work with you to help you process your pain, your betrayal, so that you can put an end to this crap once and for all. Once and for all. We're, we're you know, we're, we're cutting loose, cutting free. You know, some of you are gonna live uh, really like for the first time free of being bound by your past. And I think that is just mother loving awesome sauce. Mother loving awesome sauce. And I'm happy for you. Okay. All right, let's do your spread. Let me have a center energy, please, for Sagittarius. Thank you. Look at that. Look at that divine gift right in the smack dab middle of your reading. Ace of Pentacles, okay? Just for you. You are going to be okay in this process. So if it's a thought of you lacking or missing in any way, shape, or form, ah, wrong, okay? <laughs> Nothing but blessings. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I, I really think that you, this you're going to really feel good about this process. It's going to make you feel good. It's going to um, give you uh, a way through to healthier connections, you know, let you enjoy life. That's why I said, like, I think you're going to be free, you know, like, that's how this feels. Like, I don't know. It's it's if you can imagine, I guess, what, what do you call it? Not a water balloon. Those uh, flying balloons. Uh, where they start going up, but they're still attached to the rope on the ground. It's like that rope is being cut and you're going to just be free, my love. Um, crown the energy, please, for Sagittarius. Hello. All right. We got a lot of crowning here. So we got a two-part story. I have the Emperor there, and I have the Eight of Wands, King of Swords, and the Fool here. All right. We definitely got a two-part story. So let me tell you what's crowning you what's kind of hanging over your head, all right? Um, think of this as hmm, options. Let's say it like that, options. Option A, emperor energy, boss, CEO, CFO, uh, I don't know, CSI. <laughs> Pick one, it don't matter to me. Definitely dominant energy, militant energy, uh, control Okay, um, but this might be you embodying that emperor to get control of your life. Now, I'm no longer allowing circumstances to control you. You understand? But with this Ace of Pentacles by way of business, awesome sauce. Okay, definite growth. Uh, I like it. Maybe venturing out on your own. I like it. Okay, let's look at B. Uh, Eight of Wands, King of Swords, and the full energy. Now, what we have here is an uh, option B is an opportunity to speak your peace and allowing that peace to break, break you free into this full energy. Like that I've said it, it's done. Now I'm, now I'm free. You know, the fool is a fresh, uh, clean slate. You know, I'm removing this from my plate. I'm speaking my peace. My angels told me to do so. I'm free. Choice is yours. Okay, whatever your situation, choice is yours. Bottom of the deck, you're, either way you celebrate. Either way, I'm free. I'm going to go have some fun. I'm going to go actually make some good connections, um, healthier connections. I'm going to introduce the world to the new Sagittarius, you know? Either way. What's working against Sagittarius right now? What's in the way? The hangman, Piscean energy, feeling stuck, feeling bound, feeling tied down, feeling controlled. If this was traditional tarot, you would see somebody hanging upside down with, by their foot uh, tied to a, a post. 
on this deck, I like it because you can actually see the oppression, the suppression. He has her by her mother loving hair. Do you see that? He has her by her hair dominating her. Man. Sag, so it, this is saying to me that this is how you feel. You feel oppressed. You feel suppressed. You feel controlled. You know, somebody, whoever that is to you, this, I don't know, slave master, whatever you want to call it, uh, is horrible. And I'm not going by color, so don't start no color shit in my comments, all right? Um, but you know what I'm saying, all right? But this uh, hawk here, hmm, see, God sees all, knows all, and does all well, baby. He gonna get a whipping. He gonna get his own whipping. See, while this person has a staff to punish her, you see the hawk with a staff in his claw. They don't even know. They don't even know. Your angels are going to be on this, baby. And the, uh, where's this coming from? The Page of Pentacles. Maybe your childhood, when you were younger, when you were something, how can I say it? I feel like it smells like a Page of Swords. Something you learned wrong. I want to say it like that. Maybe learned wrong. It's funny because the Page of Pentacles is actually writing. Um, I never noticed that. But something was, was learned wrong. Um, a, a bad example was given. A bad impression was given. Um, and you received it and you kind of put it in your pocket and, and saved it and never took it out. Do that make sense? That's what you're processing right here. Whatever this uh, pinnacle is, uh, this Page of Pentacles energy is from, from way back when... That's what you're processing. The Knight of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. This has been a slow journey. You've been holding on to this page a long time. You know, this is my turtle with hemorrhoids. That's how slow this energy is. Um, hmm. I have to say, for some of you, this is a, 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 it feels like an awakening of something. How can I, the people that are identifying with the emperor by way of business, like starting a business, you might be actually uh, bringing to fruition your business that you thought of when you were a child. It's just been a slow journey. I got to put that out there as well. Okay. Even though at times you feel stuck or you feel suppressed, um, by circumstances or with contracts or licenses or something like that. Uh, just keep going. You, you have a uh, divine covering right now working with you. W where's this going? Future energy, please. For Sag, it's... Who's lying? Sag, we was doing so good. God darn it. We got a liar. Hold on. Yep. Okay, so let's talk. Shoot. These people, the, the people that uh, are going to, if you're saying, mm, God, I, this, I, I'm getting angry. I'm trying to keep my composure. I'm sorry. The people that are being advised by their angels to speak their peace and break free, the person is going to deny it. I'm going to tell you now. And you know for sure, you have, you remember verbatim. I don't know. It was a sunny day. It was two o'clock. I had on a red shirt. I had on purple. Whatever. You have the details of your memory is, oh my God, it's in my heart. Woo! Hold on. Y'all playing with my emotions today. Yeah, they're going to deny it. And they're going to deny it um, aggressively. I'm going to tell you that right now. They're going to deny it aggressively. Like, I can feel, like, some name calling coming out. I ain't going to lie. And it's going to piss you off because you're stepping right into this King of Wands to handle this situation. But you're going to try your best. Oh, Sag, as you growing up. So, I'm so proud. You look at the boomstick. Oh, my babies. Y'all getting it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. See, you know your strength, you know your power, you know who you are. But I'm telling you, when you control 
that fire, man, look at that divine gift coming in. It's like, you know what? It's like you're ain't like at that point, even though you're full of passion, full of fire, full of oomph and focus, it's like God steps in like, you know what? I got it from here. You know, with this Ace of Wands, that's how this feels like, like I got it from here. You know, you did your part. You did what you, you called them out. All right. They denied it. Fine. But you grew up and you didn't stoop to their level. You held back and God said, that's what I wanted from you. Now let me deal with this one. This Queen of Swords is going to get a whipping like a mother lover. They going to get a whipping. I'm trying to tell you. All right. Um, yeah. Knight of Cups, um, Empress Energy, Eight of Cups. You know, I know you guys have been battling with this Empress Energy, I don't even know, like two years now, it, it, more than that. But I know I've been talking to you for two years about this same damn Empress. Guys, I, I don't know what else to say about this connection. I love the love, but it's a the weirdest love I've ever seen in my life. Woo, God, I don't know how y'all do it. Um, the victory is in the separation. It really is right now, okay? Um, as much as I don't want to say that, I want to say that, yeah, you know, work it out. And I want to say those things, but it's just, right now, the victory is in the separation. Your solitude is so valuable right now. That internal work is so valuable to you that you just really can't apply and pour into that. Not right now. We got, we, we got enough. The plate is full. Okay. Can I say that between work and family and spiritual development? Good. Hello. Who going to wipe my ass? Like your plate is full. So at this point, that empress, we can't do that right now. All right. So we're definitely walking away from that. We're taking victory in that. And you're standing independent and abundant with this pre empress energy of the nine of pentacles. Now in this garden, you are abundant. You are intuitive. Uh, you are in a place where you're at peace with where you are, because at this point, this is when you're saying, you know what? God, I'm ready when you are. Look, I surrender. My hands are raised. I'm ready when you are. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy uh, the fruits that you've bestowed upon me, the abundance that you've bestowed upon my life, uh, the allowance of the freedom that you're enjoying in this nine of pentacles. Now, I will say that just because something has been pushed to the side doesn't mean that it's never coming back. I'd be lying. You know all about that, okay? Because look at all the mother-loving swords coming in. I, I, I don't know. Sag, you can't do nothing about what you can't do nothing about. That That's all I can say about this. What is it? Uh, accept the things you... Ch uh, shit. Accept the things you can't change. Change the things you can. Wisdom to know the difference. That's... Uh, I, hello? That's all I can say about this right here. Because this is just mental anxiety and stress and worry and about who and how and what and when and no, 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 no. Okay. What we want is the sun. And even though the sun is the happiest card in the deck, I don't feel joy in my heart. I'm not going to lie. Um, but it is to be had with the sun energy. The sun, this sun feels to me like a 150 watt light bulb in a room that had a 40. You understand? If you had a 40, you y'all you, know what I'm talking about. You change this watt button and, and it's like, oh my Lord. <laughs> you start seeing dust and dirt and everything in the corners. That's how this sun feels to me. It's bringing you realization and clarity and uh, truth and not so you can know what to get away from. You didn't know that it was that much that you didn't see. But once you saw it, you couldn't unsee it. That's the thing. So it's like, you know what? Let me get the heck out of here. This is why my allergy has been messing up. This room is dusty as hell. Hello? Yes. Seven of Cups coming in. Um, definitely options something coming in for you by way of emotional fulfillment. It's going to be a little funky in the beginning. I'm not going to lie. 
when you're kind of reintroducing, when you do come back out and kind of reintroduce yourself to healthier connections, it's going to be a little weird at first. Um, take it in stride. Everybody, of course, is not your friend, you know, and everybody is not your enemy. Just feel your way through. Use your intuition. Use the knowledge that God gives you in this process of solitude so that when you do reintroduce yourself to the world, you'll be able to wean through, you know, the foolishness, okay, and have healthier connections, emotional balance, meeting people people more like you with the six of cups. Uh, also ancestral assist, assistance, past life connections here. I got to say that uh, with the six of cups, this eight of swords, six of pentacles feels like somebody um, thinking about you, thinking about coming back to you. I got to say that maybe a Scorpio with that tower, they might shock you like, hey, Sag, what's going on? Maybe within the next... Mm, This is going to take a while. Hold on. Let me just get this right. I'm going to say uh, six weeks, and I got to say six months with this pinnacles. I got to say it. All right. But anyway, it's a shock. Like, hey, Sagittarius, what's going on? Um, It's up to you. You know, you're going to be in a different place. So feel your way through and make a, a solid choice of whether or not you want to re-engage because you're going to be in a place of balance and a place of justice in a place of really operating in your true self. So this is now kind of like what you're um, hopefully um, attracting as well as looking for. But I can't I can't um, lie to you. Just because you're in a new place, that don't mean the world changed while you was in the house. Hello? I'm just saying, there's still some fools out here, so be mindful of that. All right? But enjoy this new beginning, Ace of Cups energy. I love it. And like I said, some of you have a reconciliation coming, especially with that Ace of Cups. Yeah, maybe a Scorpio. Death energy is here as well. Yep. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay. So, um, I like where we're going. I like where we're at handle this queen as best you can as best you can um and know that um mm, god is still god you know god is still god all right um if any event you said green eyes I, I i don't know what you're talking about okay this this is not my reading this doesn't resonate i'm okay with that please check your moon or rising don't take the energy with you if it's not yours Leave it here for another Sagittarius, okay? Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It's absolutely free, and it supports the channel. Remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.